Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Tri Sentinel Waves Cyclops. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. It such your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is in store for you. Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button to show your support. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. An interesting design for this Cyclops, right? From the House of X Powers to 10. I actually kind of like it already. Anyway, on the side, you get this nice image of Cyclops right over there. And a little bit more zoomed out right over here on the back. There's a read-up over there. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then you get an inverted image right there on this side. On the top, you get a spot varnished X logo. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> And here's Cyclops out of the packaging and a little wibbly wobbly from those tiny tootsies. So we'll talk about the things that I like about this figure and we'll talk about the things that I don't like. But first, let's look at the accessories. So aside from the Build-A-Figure piece and the two head sculpts, we get this same optic blast that we'd seen before with the Vintage Collection X-Factor Cyclops. So no real difference over here. Yeah, there's a lot of reused stuff with the Cyclops figure. <laughs> So again, we get the same head sculpt from the X-Factor version of Cyclops, and you can see that we get very clean paint apps over here, especially with the teeth. I like how that looks, and you get that translucent red right over there. Really love that baby blue metallic paint. That looks really good, and you get this dark navy blue throughout with the figure. You can go ahead and port in the effect. We just showed a second ago, and that works very well. So very cool that we get this head sculpt again. And then we get the neutral head sculpt, which looks great as well. Very clean. Love that baby blue metallic paint. Once again, flesh tone looks really solid. We've seen this head sculpt before. So not a whole lot of new with this figure, man. And we get the Bucky Cap mold. And if I remember correctly, this suit is the suit that came after the Renegade Cyclops from Marvel Now, right? If I'm correct about that or incorrect, let me know. But I really do like how it looks. I like these blue stripes throughout and everything looks very cool not a whole lot of new on this bucky cap mold we do get new forearms right over here so you could see you know some of this i don't know it's, i guess that's supposed to be glowing blue right there a little bit of paint missing eh, nice silver color in that plastic not bad wish we had interchangeable hands you can see we get the jean gray pleasure pose right over there on that side and then just the fisted hand right here on this side missing paint again right there so missing paint on both sides you get the whole port right over there on the back paint looks pretty good when you bend forward paint looks pretty good when you bend back it doesn't really bend back that much though uh, you do get some nice silver paint apps right over here on the belt and i do like this new belt I, I really do dig it a lot that looks very cool nice little picked out detail right there with those silver buttons so i'm liking that there's your psych butt missing some paint right there on the back of the thigh on the top right over here looks pretty good to me and then there's the calves right over there and then you get those small cyclops feet and we get the serial number and all the info right here on the bottom of the feet as well as peg holes let me show the articulation really quick but while i'm doing this i just wanted to share a story about one of my most epic farts ever where i was staying at my cousin's cabin up in lake tahoe i think i must have been about ah, 14 or something like that maybe 15 years old anyway uh in the oh this by the way doesn't bend in as much as it would on the elbows that don't have that extra piece i want to say it bends in just a little bit farther you know over here than this one but it's not that different anyway the wrist turn side to side both hinge up and down uh but yeah uh in this room it had a very high ceiling and uh that does not bend back as much as i'd like to and then you get rotation right there and wow full-on splits but yeah very high ceiling and i don't know what i ate that gave me such horrible gas but uh yeah i was staying in that room with my brother and i was tearing up some wicked huge farts and like the whole cabin like echoed with this booming blast fart sound it was quite epic so yeah share your epic fart stories with me shardimus prime in the comment section below now to measure out this cyclops figure you can see that he is standing right at the six and a half inch mark and then for a hooded cyclops figure comparison we have our house of x cyclops next to the astonishing cyclops then we have the classic new x-men cyclops and the x-factor cyclops i sold my marvel now renegade red and black cyclops uh several years ago for really cheap i wish i didn't do that if anyone has that figure for sale i'll buy it off you let me know in the comments 
comment section or DM me on the IG, whatever. And then here's Cyclops next to the other figures from this wave that I've already reviewed. We have Omega Sentinel, Marvel Girl, Wolverine, and Magneto. And then here's the new Cyclops figure next to your average 600 scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Hey Psych, if you don't need your fingers to activate the optic blast, then why are your fingers always posed that... Oh... Hey, can I get a whiff? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please show some love by hitting that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell and a big thank you to all these people showing the extra love via the Tron and membership. If you are interested in joining, check it out. Link below, button below. This figure is all right. Like really, what can I say? I mean, it's all right. It's a Bucky Cap Mold Cyclops figure. It's what we all kind of expected from it. It's got new paint apps on it, you know, new forearms, new belt, but you know, not a whole lot of new over here. So I'm not upset about it or anything having another cyclops figure or having a cyclops figure matching the other house of x figures is a good thing so that's pretty cool of course i would prefer to have a new character over another cyclops figure but hey you know for those that are just jumping into the line hey you get a cyclops figure so that's pretty cool but yeah it's an okay figure not bad not great you need the build a figure piece don't really need the figure, but it's cool to have. You know, what can I say? Anyway, at the price point of around 20 to 25 bucks, I'm giving this Cyclops figure a sun rating of meh. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news and a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me via social media, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.